Hey y'all, welcome to the Mojito channel. I'm your host, Crocodile Death Speed, and this is a new best YouTube videos of the month uh, video this time for the month of February. Uh, in January, I choose, I think, 35 videos, and February was uh, a less ripe month for YouTube, apparently. I mean, there were a lot of good videos, but not a lot of great videos, you know? There were a lot of videos that made me say, Nice. But not a lot of videos that made me say <laughs> And the latter is usually what I'm looking for for this kind of video. Oh, and another change. Instead of making a long list uh, of videos like last time, like a complete retard, uh, this time I made a playlist. I mean, it seems obvious, right? But I'm not a smart man, so... Uh, the playlist, of course, will be linked at the end of the video, during the end card. Similar to last time, though, the videos will be ordered uh, in chronologically, in, in chronological order. Um, yeah, let's go. So the first video is by Kurzgesagt Science Channel, and it's called Why Alien Life Would Be Our Doom, The Great Filter. So it talks about how discovering intelligent alien life would actually be bad news because of the theory of the Great Filter. And it's probably not what you think. Uh, if you are not aware of the theory of the Great Filter, it's really well explained in this video, so you should check it out. So the next video is uh, PewDiePie diss track by Dan Ball. You probably remember that Dan Ball made this really good ironic or even post-ironic iDubs diss track and this time he made one about PewDiePie and uh, the diss track is really really funny it's got a lot of good references and even guests and it's really well made and it's really really funny so uh, yeah it deserves a watch in my opinion next video is by June's Kitchen one of my favorite cooking channels and it's uh, about how to make homemade sukiyaki and also homemade uh, tofu. So personally, I'm not a big fan of tofu, but sukiyaki is, in my opinion, one of the unsung marvels of Japanese cuisine. You, you see him going to the mushroom farm to get some mushrooms and in a, in a garden to get some carrots and, and all that shit, and it's really, it's a really well-made video, really enjoyable. Next is a Philip DeFranco parody by Jax Films. Seems to me that Jax Films hadn't made a parody in a, a, a quite a long time. And this one uh, is really funny, especially if you know uh, Philip DeFranco, of course, but uh, even, if you, even if you don't, uh, that's where he coined the phrase That's Finna Walk, who instantly became a big favorite of mine. So, uh, that's Finna Walk. Next is how to make 29 handmade pasta shapes, etc. This one almost did not make the cut. The cinematic qualities are subpar in my opinion. Everything is overexposed. The camera angles are approximative. The editing feels rushed. I mean, really, it's a joy to see a professional do all these pasta shapes, a lot of them that I'd, I'd never heard about before. This cook has some beautiful tools, and it's a bit sad to see that the, the, the filming and the editing was probably done by an intern, but the, the subject itself makes it uh, worth it. Uh, seeing this dude make all these pastas, is is amazing and it's a great experience and it, it makes the video worthwhile. Next is a Sushi Masters Explain the Art of Omakase, another food video. So this one is about omakase. It's basically when you go to a sushi place and you ask the chef to choose for you. And uh, this, this video is, is magnificent. It's got some amazing images of uh, really beautiful sushi being made and it's you will struggle to concentrate on the words because the images are so beautiful. Next is another food video, a burger scholar breaks down classic regional burger styles. This one is about a, a burger expert, basically, uh, that presents three um, not well-known burgers from three different places in the US. And uh, yeah, got some really great insights on, 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 on burgers and, and, and food and all that shit. And you know, that, that Oklahoma burger that he does with the onions? I've done it a few times since and it's legit. It's the real deal. It's an amazing recipe. So uh, 
definitely worth watching at some great images beautiful Next is You Love, You Lose Music Edition, uh, and it's not really about music, it's not really music related, I'm not sure why it was called like that, but uh, for a long, long, long time, You Love, You Lose was a big tradition on the internet. It started on 4chan more than 10 years ago. It has had some of a resurgence in, in past few years. It has become cool again, and a lot of people are, are making it. And until recently, I was not on board, because everything I watched was quite and kind of boring, and it didn't really work. And then really recently, I discovered the 1v1 you love, you lose, one guy against one another. And this, in my opinion, works really well, and this video is absolutely hilarious. Uh, I, um, I lost a lot, and uh, yeah, worth watching. Next is called The Rise of the Systemic Game, and it's a really nice insight on uh, how modern video games work. I mean, not all, but a lot. And if you are into video games, it's uh, definitely worth watching, in my opinion. I love this kind of analysis, uh, which compares how technology and, and concepts, you know, like writing, are, can be intertwined. Insightful. Next is Mysterium Cosmographicum, and basically, it's Michael Stevens uh, explaining what the Mysterium Cosmographicum is and uh, whether you know what it is or you don't, it's definitely interesting and fun. Great video about science, math, history and toys. Next is why does salt make food taste better by SciShow? It's a question that I asked myself lots of times. And finally, I got the answer. It's really interesting, it's really well explained. You will know what salt does to your food and your brain and your body and all that, and great. Next is Making a Song in an Hour by Rob Scallon. And uh, basically it's exactly what it is. It's Rob Scallon making a song in an hour. And it starts out slow and kind of boring, but when, when he starts adding the lyrics and all, it's, it's, it becomes more and more funny as the video goes on, so uh, if you're a musician, this definitely will uh, make you laugh or maybe even interest you, but uh, yeah, it's a fun little experiment, made even funnier by, uh, by Rob. Pretty cool. Next is Things You're Doing Wrong by Internet Command Etiquette with Big Money Salvia Eric. Uh, Big Money Salvia Eric, Internet Command Etiquette, in my opinion, is, I don't want to say hit and miss because it's not that, but you know, there are some good videos that are sensible chuckle material and there are some great videos where I laughed so much in front of them and you, you never know which one it's gonna be and uh, this one is definitely one of the funniest in my opinion he has ever made I laughed so much it's really great it's extremely funny and witty and stupid and it's everything best about Eric so uh, if you love him definitely watch this and if you don't know him, it can be a great introduction. Next is 5 tips for cooking and boiling pasta perfectly. It's a 1 minute video, but they nail it in 1 minute. 5 really great tips, really useful, that really work. Hats off, that's all I have to say. Next is What We Want from Dark Souls Remastered. Uh, by Vatividia, so obviously a Vati video about Dark Souls is always great. If you're a big Dark Souls fan like I am, you absolutely love this. I thought it was gonna be a boring video about, yeah, I'd like better graphics and I'd like this and that, but actually it's a great insight on how Dark Souls works and how some mods uh, can make it better and, and have made it better in the past. And uh, yeah, 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 if you're a fan of Dark Souls, you're gonna love this video, but if you're a fan of Dark Souls, you're probably already subscribed to Vetti, so... Uh, <laughs> so, uh, I'll include it anyway. I was surprised by the content of this video, and I, I really loved it. Next is The Legend of Zorba by Vsauce2. Uh, Kevin here is uh, presenting an old computer from a really long time ago, from before I was born. The Zorba. Why has it been forgotten? It was pretty revolutionary. Basically, it was the first portable computer ever made. And uh, yeah, it's a great piece of history. If you're interested in the history of technology and all that, you will absolutely love this. It's really well made. Next is FM Synthesis Explained by Andrew Wong. For me, as well as probably for you, FM Synth was the name of this iconic 
sound that had been used a lot by everyone in the 80s from Phil Collins to Michael Jackson to Toto to everyone basically but is more iconic as the Super Mario 64 water level sound you know in Dire Dire Docks that keyboard that goes doom 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 boom no that's actually FM piano which is an FM synth but it's actually just one brand of FM uh, synthesis and it goes a long way. Even the <laughs> of uh, Skrillex, Dubstep and shit are FM synth too. So what is FM, FM synthesis? How does it work? What does it entail? Amazing video by Andrew Wang who really explains it all really well and uh, yeah, I learned something that day. That was cool. Next is actually a callback to last month and it's a drum cover, blind drum cover uh, of uh, the La Di Da Di Da Di Deo by Bill Wirtz that I talked about one month ago. And uh, basically this guy is called the 8-bit drummer and he's a, he's a great guy with a great personality. Unfortunately, he's a dirty weeb so most of what he does are covers of, you know, anime theme songs and uh, really uh, Japanese video games and, and, and J-pop and all that shit. So uh, it was hard for me to get into him and it kind of was always sad since he's a really great guy with a great person personality and also a great musician with a great understanding of uh, what music is and how it works. And uh, so seeing him cover a song that I love was a pretty amazing experience. Uh, he's such a fun guy and such a great drummer. And yeah, that was uh, that was very satisfying. Next is Cough, another video by Jax Films. It's kind of an experiment and it's kind of making a feedback loop. He's filming himself coughing and then he's filming himself coughing in front of a video of himself coughing and then it goes deeper and deeper and it's yeah it's experimental and it's uh, kind of the video equivalent of the music of Mertzbau and it's obviously great and you probably are asking yourself is it worth it and let me tell you it definitely is and next the last video of the month of February is energy balls by you suck at cooking Ah, for a long time I've tried to get into You Suck at Cooking, but it was kind of too much lol so random to me, you know, and uh, it's just, it was just making random shit all the time. It was just making random shit all the time while giving deadpan comments, so I never really liked it. Uh, but uh, yeah, I discovered this video and man, he really stepped his game up in terms of dialogue, uh, I mean monologue, I mean writing. Uh, okay, he does the same random shit as he always did, but yeah, he's slowly turning into how to basic, except that instead of uh, throwing eggs, he is throwing puns. And man, these puns are good. He is really, really funny now, and the lol so random bits have turned into actual comedy, and Man, this is a really, really funny video, well made, and yeah, it used to sound like some teenager rambling on Vine, and now it sounds like a bit from my favorite TV show of all time, Xavier Renegade Angel. So uh, yeah, definitely worth watching if you like fun. And uh, that was the last uh, video of the month. As I said in the beginning of the video, there will be a, a playlist that will appear around here uh, with all the videos I've talked about. You can click on it and that's it. Thumbs up if you liked the video, subscribe if you loved it, and if you really loved it, please consider a subscription to my Patreon. Money's pretty tight right now, so it will really help. Apart from that, well, see ya next month, I guess. And actually see ya tomorrow for another epic video.